Hi everyone, Zoe Kabat here um, from upstate New York. I am a chemistry teacher up in Glens Falls. Um, so the new technology that I chose to um, look at for assessments um, from the articles given is the social media in K through 12 schools. Um, I chose this one because I had mentioned, I can't remember if it was this class or the STEM class I'm in, um, I had mentioned using Twitter um, as an assessment tool. Um, in a previous mallet class I took, we had to, I think it was with Dr. O'Connor, um, we had to create a Twitter account um, with a partner and kind of um, upload our status um, as we went through a project um, using tweets. And I thought that was a really cool idea. I um, mean, it's something I eventually would like to incorporate into my own classroom. Um, I think it was a really cool idea to use social media in a professional way, um, but also in a learning environment. Um, so with this um, in the article, it sort of talked about like um, exactly what I just said, um, how we can learn and teach uh, students to learn um, in not so formal learning environments um, and also connect with them outside of school. I mean, social media is such a large part of all of my students' lives. Um, they're on it any minute that they can get their hands onto it, um, even when they're not supposed to be on it, um, and supposed to be paying attention in class. Um, so I think teaching them how to use it in a beneficial, professional um, way that can also, you know, have them be learning at the same time um, and learning from each other, um, I think would be a really great tool to use in my classroom. Um, I work with high schoolers. I think this would be tough. You know, I know this is, um, a K through 12 um, article um, for its audience, um, but I think, um, as they mentioned, I think it would be better for middle school through high school. Um, I can't really imagine elementary students um, tweeting at each other, um, maybe, uh, but I think this would be better and more beneficial for those upper level kids um, and teaching them how to use these tools in a more professional setting. Um, I think it would be great for them to have a more professional account um, versus a, um, you know, a social account um, for their, you know, own use um, and showing them how they can learn from each other. So, for instance, the um, assignment we had in one of Dr. O'Connor's classes, we had to just, um, you know, tweet updates as we worked with our partner um, for the group project. And I think even just doing something like that with my students, um, having my year-long project of them, um, I'm doing a year-long project study in my STEM class, um, having them um, have a Twitter account and tweet out their progress as we go through um, and hit different points in the project, I think could be really helpful. Um, for my project in this class where they are doing the math and measurement unit, um, I think it'd be really cool if they had a Twitter account and they um, updated, again, just tweets about their progress in what they're finding in their article, how they're finding, you know, maybe other things that are connected to this math and measurement unit in the real world. Um, so I think it'd be really cool for them to connect with each other um, and for also for me to connect with them. Um, I think they can learn from each other. I mean, I learn from other educators on my own Twitter account, um, seeing their ideas. Um, so I think I could get an idea of their progress um, and assess their progress and um, in a different way than I would, um, you know, in the classroom and with their final um, project that they're going to turn in at the end of this. Um, it would be more of an informal um, assessment. Um, seeing their tweets, um, how they're interacting with each other. Um, you know, my class, my chemistry class is a very collaborative course. Um, so this could be part of that collaboration grade um, in this assessment and seeing how they collaborate with their peers um, outside of that formal classroom setting. Um, so I think in terms of social media, um, it wouldn't maybe necessarily, I wouldn't be assessing their content knowledge. I would be assessing the way they interact and collaborate with their peers outside of school um, and how they, you know, go about those interactions. So this is something that um, I may get to with this project in the in our assessment class, um, but I'm also, this is something I have in the back of my head in the um, 
you know, small free time I have to attempt to incorporate into my course for the future years. So thank you.